a hole in the road like we did. Tough to come back from, turn the ball over, 10 point swing, you know, let the ball get thrown over our heads. Uh, it's a recipe for disaster. I thought there were some real bright things. I mean, I thought we were pretty darn good on third down on offense and obviously defense much better than we were a week ago. I thought for the most part we were able to uh, sustain, you know, stop and run, but not to the point where we need to to win a football game like this. But uh, a lot of things we're going to look at hard as coaches. What are we doing schematically? Are we putting our guys in the right position to make plays? Are we giving them the best opportunity to be successful? And fundamentally, are we giving them all the things and all the tools that they need to be successful? So it'll start and end there, and uh, we're going to find a way to create a great plan for our guys, come back home for homecoming next week, and find a way to get a win. So in the heart of a storm, you stay the course, you find a way to get some things fixed, and uh, that's our job. That's what we're going to get going on. Bus right home. So how about that? With that, some questions, please. Fitz, is it uh, primarily or all on defense for you, Phil? You need to sort of re-examine things. Well, you get 500 yards. It's not about yards, it's about points, but you 500 yards of offense. I mean, it was, you know, we, I think we stopped ourselves today, turnovers and, you know, obviously some self inflicted wounds and some things, some more man breakdowns on offense. Defensively, yeah, I mean, you got guys coming off the field saying, I'm playing this concept, I'm playing that concept. That, that was kind of breakdowns communications. When they've happened, we, we, it's, they've been disastrous this year. And so it starts with us as coaches. I mean, what, what, what do we ask them to do? Or why are they confused? Why, why are they on different pages? I mean, it's not like Iowa did anything different than they typically do. They gave us, I think, one little formation variation, but we adjusted it. We thought on the boundary, obviously, we didn't do a good enough job of that as coaches. So that's our responsibility. Were you stunned uh, to see Danny make the decision to try to throw that in the end zone earlier today? Well, you know, he's been so good for us, Teddy. You know, it's, uh, it's just unfortunate that that happened. I like it. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, that's my answer for the rest of the questions. <laughs> it's all there is. All right, sir. It's good to see you. Fitz, when you talk about the, you know, the, the, the guys that aren't clear in the secondary, the 35 yard touchdown to McNutt, is that a perfect example of that? Oh, I think we have too many examples of it, Teddy. And is it basically, yeah, guys, some think it's zone, some think it's man, or is it more complicated? It's, no, it's really not that complicated. We're either playing some version of four or we're playing some version of two or, you know, whatever it might be, the coverage concept. We're, just, we're not doing a good enough job coaching because obviously our guys are, are not on the same page and that's our responsibility. It's, uh, it's, our, it's our responsibility. I guess maybe moving the secondary today with Duger going out there and saying, what are you about that, how that went? I'd have to watch the tape. Do you mind asking me on Monday? I mean, I, we gave a bu up a bunch of passing yards, so obviously not that well, you know, but I'm, I'm not saying it's because of Doogie or, or lack there of Jeremy. I just... Get bloody yards. Was uh, Persa put under pressure, in your opinion, tonight? Well, I, I, you know, I'm going to watch the tape, to, but uh, it looked like we had and listened into in, in everything we were trying to adjust in the boundary. There were some one man breakdowns up front, and then we also had some guys that uh, weren't getting off the jam, so the timing was off a little bit. But, we, you know, you know that's what I was going to do. They're going to try and disrupt you at the second level. You got to get their hands off you, and you got and you got to get up the field and make your routes. And when we did, I thought we really executed well. Uh, and the same thing with the run game. You know, we thought we had some things there, and we were able to move it pretty well. But you know, that's a big that's a big swing there in the first. Uh, what was it the first quarter, first first half there? I'm not sure specifically, but you know, we got all the momentum. We're going down to drive to score, and we turn it over, and it's a pick six. I mean, that was that was a big change of momentum on the road. It's tough to overcome.